Hello and welcome back to The Bad Back Gardener. My name is Kevin and in this video we're going to be selecting peppers for the upcoming season of the garden. Now I get a bunch of catalogs as you can see and uh, I go through those and pick out what I like and what I want to grow. Now a lot of the peppers are available in multiple different from multiple different companies. Uh, for instance, the, I grow a pepper called King Arthur and that one is available from most catalogs that you can get. So what I end up doing when I narrow it down to my four or five that I choose, I'm picking out the cheapest price that I have to pay for those particular peppers. Now some peppers are uh, exclusive to certain catalogs or certain companies and so I have to order that if I want those ones off that company. Now last year I grew about six or seven different kinds of peppers and the ones that I grew I grew uh, the Godfather, which is from Burpee, Thunderbolt, which is from Burpee, Margaret's, which was from Jung, Italian Sweet from Territorial, and Atreus Hybrid was from Parks. Those are grilling type peppers, the ones I ordered. I like those because they're usually sweet peppers. They're really big peppers most of the time, depending on what variety you choose, but the ones that I grow are bigger peppers and they're very prolific growers so I get a lot of peppers off of each each one of those and they're also good you can stuff them like a bell pepper as well I do grow the King Arthur which is a bell type pepper I like it so I, that's the other one I grow uh, I grow a, like a medium hot pepper it's called a pizza pepper it's a it's a larger pepper uh, but it's got a little little bit of heat to it not a whole lot but a little bit and then I grow some hot peppers uh, as well. I usually grow uh, jalapeno, usually maybe a early in a, in a mild hot jalapeno. And then I grow cayenne pepper, uh, which was called Cheyenne. And I get that off of Johnny Seeds. But uh, the jalapeno peppers, I usually just buy in a store because they're, they're available for, for everywhere. So I can get them a, you know, a cheaper pack and they grow just as well. So uh, those are the peppers I grew last year. I grew one other kind. It was uh, it was a haban habanana, which was is kind of like a habanero pepper, except it had no heat. It looked exactly like a habanero, but it had no heat. It was good, but I don't think I'm going to grow it again this year. So those that's what I grew last year, and I'll probably grow most of those again this year because I was real happy with my pepper crop. Got a lot of peppers, as you may have seen in some other videos. So I'll probably grow the Godfather if I can order it. Uh, I did not see it in the Burpee catalog, but a lot of times you can still find it in the online if you go to order it. Uh, Thunderbolt, um, I'll do probably Italian Sweet and that Atreus Hybrid. Um, I don't know if I'll do the Margaret's or not, but uh, I may pick out another different kind and try it. I'll grow the King Arthur, the Pizza Peppers, and probably the Cheyenne uh, cayenne pepper as well and then some jalapenos is grow those so I may pick out one or two types that I have not grew in the past and we'll see about those but when you're picking out your peppers you want to decide what kind of pepper you want whether you're growing hot or whether you want a sweet bell or if you're wanting to grow the grilling type peppers as well so and for hot peppers, you got to decide how hot you want it because there's a lot of different hot peppers out there. And they can go from Carolina Reaper, which is the hottest pepper around, uh, to, you know, mildly hot pepper. And the Carolina Reaper, if you're going to grow it, uh, people grow it. I guess I don't like that hot of pepper. I like more of a pepper taste than I do the pepper heat. I can eat hot peppers. I like them. But... I don't want them so hot that I can't eat them, so I, I usually don't grow those type of tomato or uh, peppers in my garden. So, so this year I think I'm going to order, and I'm ordering some tomatoes out of this as well as seeds and such. This is a new company that I've never ordered off of, but I'm ordering some tomatoes off it, and I'm also going to order uh, some of my different kinds of peppers this year. I'm going to order a what they call the Goliath Sweet and the Goliath Griller. And those are the two newer peppers I think I'm going to order besides the ones that I 
that I'm gonna grow from last year. Okay, so when you're, when you're ready to pick out your peppers, you want to look through your catalogs, pick out what you want. Do you want sweet pepper? Do you want hot peppers? Do you want mildly hot peppers? Do you want uh, bell type pepper? Do you want a grilling type pepper? Do you want orange, red? Do you just like the green peppers as they are? So you got a lot of choices to make. So you want to narrow it down to what you prefer, what you like, and give a couple different kinds a try. Grow a couple different kinds and then you can start making a list like I have to where you really like it. The ones that have worked out really well for you, the ones that have been productive and giving you a bumper crop, the ones that, that taste really good and, and work out good. So uh, it's all going to be kind of your personal choice, but um, this is I find out what I'm going to grow, a couple different kinds of peppers this year just to keep moving on, try and make sure I, I'm not missing anything out there or something. i always hunting for something I like better. So that's going to Pretty much do it for this episode of Picking Out Peppers for the Garden. Thanks for watching. Catch up with me on Facebook. And if your back ain't hurting, you ain't working.